Lady Charmaine and welcome to another edition of Hot Chocolate and Coffee Talk, the Encouragement Series. Today I wanted to talk to you about the pursuit of happiness. Now is a person happy because something is happening in their life? Do we sometimes mistake happiness for joy? Now a person could be happy because they just won the lottery. If you just won a two million dollar lottery, you're going to be jumping and you're going to be ecstatic. A person could be happy because they just landed a new job they've been trying to get. A person could be happy because they just received a check in the mail and it was totally unexpected. Now, question for you. What if there was nothing happening in your life? Would you still be happy? What if the job that you landed called you and said, you know what? We accidentally overhired. I'm so sorry. We're going to have to recline. Decline the job that we just offered you. Would you still be happy? What if you found out you won the lottery and all of a sudden you got a telephone call to find out that one digit was off and you didn't win the lottery? Would you still be happy? What if you never received a check in the mail? What if you found out that it was just one of those checks from one of those companies that actually said on the back, this is not an official check? How would you feel? Because see, sometimes we, we mistake happiness for joy. And the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is your strength. Because sometimes you're only happy because something is happening. If there was nothing happening in your life and everything right now was looking destitute, you had no money to pay your bills, you had no food to feed your family, would you still be happy? Because see, God wants to give us joy on the inside. Because see, happiness is external. Because of what's happening around us, joy is internal. Joy is the, what's going to give you the strength to get through your situation and through your trial and through your test. See, happiness will go away. You win the lottery and get $2 million and it can be gone in two months. Would you still be happy? Yeah, you could have got the job today and didn't pass the probationary period and they had to let you go. Would you still be happy? That's the question. Because see, joy is what God gives us when nothing is happening. Joy will cause things to happen. See, it's the joy that will cause the people around you to be baffled because when they see everything you're going through, they're trying to figure out how are you still smiling through this tribulation and through this test? I can't see it because joy is what God gives you in the midst of a storm. It's that joy that's going to draw others to Jesus who see you going through and say, you know what? I need that Jesus because you haven't lost your smile. You didn't skip a step or a beat in your walk with Christ. Because, see, sometimes people who only have, who are only happy, when things don't go their way, they fall out. And you wonder, where is Sister so-and-so? Where is Brother so-and-so? They were always so happy. But, see, it's the joy that's going to pull you through your trials. So, question for you today. Are you happy or do you have joy? And because, see, the Bible says he'll give you joy unspeakable and full of glory. And that joy that's on the inside when people try to figure out what's going on with you, it's so unspeakable. You can't even put your name on it because God is so good and God is just so awesome. You can't even speak of the joy that you have. And don't forget the old Sunday school song. Remember? I got joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And that's what joy needs to stay in your heart. Because as we're going through, going through these trying times or through this time of recession, that's what you're going to need to get you through. Not just happiness, we want to be happy. We're happy on our wedding day. And we're happy when we're going through other days too. But when you and your spouse is going through, do you still have that happiness? Because you need that joy on the inside. That's down in your heart to stay. I'm Lady Charmaine and this has been Hot Chocolate and Coffee Talk, the encouragement series. If it's been a blessing to you, just email me at LadyCharmaine at Live.com. I look forward to hearing from you. And don't forget, on next week, I'll be interviewing Miss Vicki Winans on my Blog Talk Radio show. All you got to do to log on to listen is just log on to blogtalkradio.com slash Lady Charmaine Live. So if you have any questions for her, please feel free and give us a call at 347 Four two six thirty eight seventy. Our topic is going to be from vision to victory. How to make the dream God gave you come true. And we're going to be talking about how to get paid what you're worth in the kingdom. So you don't want to miss it. So you make sure that you log on to blogtalkradio.com slash Lady Charmaine Live. And I'll see you next week. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.